Hello and welcome back to Retro Bunker channel. Today we're gonna look at a main board and uh, see if we can make it work. It's from the subscriber Stefan. Thank you again. So uh, uh, let's go check on it on the bench. Here it is. I haven't uh, opened it up yet. Let's see now. Uh, graphic card. Uh, NVIDIA GeForce 2 MX. PCIe. Okay. Some dust over here. Uh, Sunblast Alive CT4830. Okay, some uh, broken a network card. <laughs> it has no, nothing inside here. So uh, this will go to the trash uh, recycle bin. Let's see now. Take this away. The back plate, let's see if it's the right one. Yes, it's the right one. So we can use this one on a case, if I can find a case for it. The ROM sticks are PC133. Okay, I think it has the ROM. 256 megabyte PC 133. So maybe it's 2, 256, so it's 512. And it's an Intel Pentium 2 CPU. See if I can lift it out here. So, Pentium 2 MMX with MMX. I think it's says 450 so we will look and see if it works it's slot one it's a uh, kind of dusty but it's okay the capacitors seems to be okay some dust i will blow it off and i will come back it's not nice i will put back the cpu Like that, and the, the clips out, so it locks in. And the fan goes over here. Uh, now check out. I will look at the battery voltages. Totally dead. Nothing here. So we put in a new one. Here's the new one. Let's see if that's okay. 3.3. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, why I changing the battery before I uh, even started it? Because some main boards doesn't even start if the battery is bad. But Asus in this case, I don't think that's the case. They will work without the battery, but some uh, modern and old mainboard will not start. This is an Asus, uh, let's see if we can zoom in, P3W-E board. It 
it got Intel chipset, Asus. So we will see if it will start. I got the power supply, old one, 520 watt Ace, not the good one, but that's the only why I got easy at hand right now. And you see it got the short socket, so you remove this one to put it in. Like that. We can measure for shorts. Now I will measure shorts and see if you can do it. Uh, you can have one lead on the chassis or you can locate a black one. That's always the sh chassis and connect to the chassis and you see 0 0.2 ohms. That's direct short and that's okay but it's not a short on this main board yet. And then you go over the other couplings for 42 ohm it's okay this one is a other uh, ground and this one 38 42 that's okay and that's another ground that will be yes 0 0.2 and then you go to 5.522 ohm that's okay and you go through all the leads on the main board. I know this power supply is good that that's why I can have it inside there. 30, 36, yes now I have tested everyone so I feel confident that it has no short that I know of on the main board. Uh, uh, we will see if we could it have a graphic card. Let's throw it around here. Put it inside here. I see if we got any screen, just like that. And some power. Now we need a screwdriver and locate where power switches. That's one, and we turn it on. Let's see now. It turns on. You see the green light here. And then we will see if we get any picture on the screen. So it start up. Uh, let's see, it doesn't find anything. We will go inside the BIOS. I have already been inside so I swapped the time and date. Uh, let's see now. 450 we said. So let's save it and see if it takes it. Yes, it's in 450. 54 megahertz and uh, 392 megabyte this boot failure that's okay let's check out if we can make this graphic card work too uh, doesn't seem like any caps are gone bad so just plug it in and look let's power off I saw it's a little fan on the side here, so maybe they have, Stefan has made it gone harder than 450 maybe. Now we should put something underneath. Put the mouse mat under, so it stays up. So and we power on. Because I don't have a chassis for this one, I may 
use it for testing memories and uh, graphic cards and uh, other stuff that comes up on the bench see if we got any picture on this one this card may be broken it feels warm so it should be some kind of picture let's try it in another slot on doesn't seem like it want to go let's try it back on the other one I will test this one in another machine later not today yeah now it's okay Maybe this card doesn't want to go. It's got some kind of crusty on the other side here. Maybe I will try to clean it up and look at it. I will come back to you when I clean it. So I have put it back. I had used some deoxid on the contacts. And the back side I've cleaned off and the contacts I've cleaned off uh, they looked a bit crusty so we'll see if it works now it takes a while for these uh, main boards to start up let's see if we got any picture doesn't oh see it worked <laughs> that's good There is no hard disk. I will take out a floppy drive, uh, even if I disable the floppy and see if it boots into something like uh, those. I located me an old floppy, a Sony uh, MP MPF920E. I don't know if it works or not. And the one is marked on the back side like that. And this one is keyed so you can put it on the wrong way. You must have some power to the floppy. Like that. We will start it up. Let's see if it even locates it. Yes, it reads from it. Let's see if it's gonna boot up. Non system disk, okay. Maybe I try another one. It can be a bad floppy. Put in another one. Yes, and it reads. Okay, so can do mem. Oh, sorry, it doesn't have mem. So it boots anyway, and it got no disk or hard drive. Uh, maybe we'll put in 
a hard disk. I got a hard disk that I should want to test. So it clearly works. Uh, but uh, we should uh, test with an hard disk. I got one that I interested to see what's on it and if it's if it's even starch. So we look at it. Honor CF30201. I don't know how big it is. Maybe 20 megabytes or something. We will see when it starts. If it starts, it can be broken. It looks okay. This is a Molex connector. The yellow one, sorry, can't see. The yellow one is 12 volts, and the red one is uh, 5 volts, and then it's ground in the middle. So ground, you put the black lead to the ground and to the 12 volts line and see 16.4, okay? And then to the 5 volts line 1.8, that, that's okay. Uh, it's not a dead short, but it can be broken anyway, like I said. Let's try it out first without connection to the main board. Yeah, it starts. Do the correct sounds. Now we'll plug in the cable to it. Now we see in B so if it finds it or not. It starts up. And the long wait, yes. Go inside the BIOS and see. Ah, corner and a disc. So, let's take out the floppy and restart. And see what kind of operating system it's on it. Maybe it doesn't even... Oh! It's a... Uh, Windows 95 on it. It uh, might crash because it hasn't uh, it's locating some hardware because uh, this is not the main board for this hard disk, <laughs> so uh, it will locate some, but it starts. That's great. Uh, I will uh, come back when it's done this. Much have happened since we begin this journey. Uh, I have reinstalled Windows 95 and uh, I have installed the drivers for the speakers. Front left, front right. So the Sound Blaster card is working, but the graphic card didn't like it. It, it hanged the machine, so that's so nice. Uh, the setup now is over here, you can see. I got the CD-ROM connected, I got the floppy connected, the boot disks. Over here, I got the new hard drive. I thought it was the hard drive, so I swapped the hard drive and tra tried it out. It's not the hard drive. I tried the graphic card and I did all the things just to show it it works. But now it works and uh, uh, the lacking the drivers of the graphic drivers, it will be sooner with the graphics drivers and so on. But yeah, this is just a test. Yes, the main board is working 
as we saw. Uh, thank you Stefan for the donation and uh, very nice extra mainboard for my testing of the new CPUs you gave me. And that will be all. Bye!